Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Kerr, and I'm the manager of the Dale Etheridge Planetarium at the College of Southern Nevada on the North Las Vegas campus. Welcome to the December 8th edition of the Las Vegas Weekly Night Sky. In these videos, we want to let you know a little bit more about what you can go outside and look for in the nighttime sky this week. Saturn is still shining for us in the southern sky after sunset. Right now, Saturn has become the undisputed moon king of the solar system with 274. Not all of these are terribly large, but they are all confirmed, including a knowledge of their orbits. A couple of Saturn's moons are very interesting. Titan is Saturn's largest moon and has liquid lakes on its surface. Granted, these lakes are not made with water, but rather of methane. These liquid bodies of water make Titan and Earth as the only two bodies in our solar system that are known to have liquid at their surface. Another interesting moon is Enceladus. Enceladus is known to have a subsurface ocean very similar to Europa around Jupiter. Enceladus has been observed venting liquid water into space from its surface. This water may help to keep Saturn's rings replenished. By 8 p.m., Jupiter has risen high enough into the eastern sky to be seen as well. It is in the constellation of Gemini right now. Jupiter has 97 confirmed moons at this point, but many more are expected to be found in the future. The four largest moons are collectively known as the Galilean moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Io is the most volcanically active object in our solar system. Tidal forces between Jupiter and its moons push and pull on Io, keeping its center liquid. This then leads to a volcanic activity at its surface. Europa has an ocean beneath its icy surface. Europa, Titan, and Enceladus are the moons that are most likely to possibly have life. This week, we take a closer look at Orion over in the east. We'll focus on the famous belt of Orion. The three stars in the belt are Alnitak, Alnilam, and Mintaka. Hanging down from the belt is his sword. What we see as the middle star in the sword is actually the Orion Nebula, also known as M42. The stars in the Orion Nebula are quite young, with lower age estimates ranging from 10,000 years old to about 300,000 years old. Near Alnitak in the belt is perhaps one of the most famous dark nebulae, the Horsehead Nebula. While the shape is purely coincidental, its similarity to a horse's head sets people's imaginations on overdrive. Join us again next Monday for some new weekly sky highlights. I look forward to seeing you at the planetarium.